My name's Jack and I'm 16 and when I'm older I want to be a Formula One driver. So basically this is my go-kart and I think I bought it about in November I think last year. First time I went go-karting in 2011 as a birthday party and I don't remember much other than the fact that I was nothing like as fast. Probably sounds a bit arrogant, but I do think I'm really good at it. I think the thing which separates me is the fact that I think I want it more than others. But if my dad wasn't paying the money to get me to do it so often, then I wouldn't be practicing so often, so I wouldn't be as good as I am. I'd be slower, I wouldn't be as good. I'm a carpet fitter, and uh, Jack is indeed my son, yes. He seemed to have a natural aptitude for it, and it was good for his confidence, so I kept fetching him. It was initially as a reward for doing well at swimming, but then he seemed to take to it much better than the swimming. Where have you had that suit from, mate? Because I used to sell those cards. My name yeah. is uh, Paul Ozan. I'm the manager of Fastlane Karting Limited. With Jack and Anthony, they, they are like a team, basically. You, 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 it's not one or the other. You, they both come as a, as a package. They probably come to us um, possibly five times a week sometimes. <laughs> Wednesdays usually just consist of, usually just here, me and my dad, just for a practice session. It is good quality time to have with Jack because we're both doing something that we enjoy and there's a great deal of commitment to it as well. Out of us, undoubtedly Jack. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, his yeah. modesty shines through, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I say, yeah. I, mean, I had a feeling I was getting some good times. Yeah. Uh, well, by my standard, anyway. I wasn't in one of their fastest cars. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. Garden support in, in karting um, from a young young age is, is just massive. That's what you need. It's like being at school and having your teacher. Well, I think I'm pretty sure you have to have the visor up while you're doing it. You only just scraped the third quickest. Me and my dad get on really well. Is that a significant amount of time. Yeah. Uh, what do you want? Uh. He does support me in what I'm doing because he, he pays for it as well. He's told me a fair few times that he does have to work hard to earn the money to uh, pay for me. Obviously the financial implementations are there where Anthony's paying for his son to, to go racing. I just work from dawn till dusk, never buy anything from me. Pay some bills occasionally if I'm lucky. The rest of the money just goes in one form or another towards Jack and his karting. But I don't begrudge it in the slightest. Not in the least, he'll pay me back 20 fold one day. <laughs> I, I do appreciate the work that he does because. He, he does have to work hard to earn the money. I, don't, I didn't expect you to even get a 23 0 in that, but 23 1 was good. Okay. I'm happy to work as hard as I do. Not, I don't mean to come across as a martyr. I'm lucky in that I enjoy my work anyway. 
but I'm happy to do it because uh, I see it as creating a, a good thing for Jack and a means to an end. And yeah, it's, it's just a worthwhile investment, sort of. Yeah. I think it's very important, the, the, the bond that they've got, and I firmly believe that without Anthony, um, Jack wouldn't be where he is now. Indeed, yes. See you later. See you. If I was to become a racing driver, I'd have a, a lot of money, so I'd be able to just throw loads of money at my dad and just throw loads of money everywhere, and he, he can buy a big house or whatever else he wishes to have. Competition outside of Stoke is quite important. Uh, you can't just be at one circuit all the time. I believe it's, it's very important to, um, to keep your hand in. Obviously, the more time you can spend in the seat uh, driving, the more things you're going to learn. If I'm to just stay karting here for the rest of my time, I'm not going to get anywhere. I'm not going to get into high levels of motorsport. Start of the race, I, I used to feel a little more nervous. You're going to have to accept that you can't win all of them. Other than that, it's not really nerves. I'm usually quietly confident. That's at least three. Three laps he's been stuck. Yeah, and there he is racing when he should be qualifying. Jack's, Jack's not doing so well there, what's it doing? Have you seen what a lousy place he's got? That's his own fault, that is. He messed it up. End of story. How far back is he? Seventh? It's his own fault. He, sh he should have dropped back and set a time instead of trying to overtake the guy in front. Well, there you go. There you go. Do you get angry at yourself when you don't do well? Yeah, I do get angry at myself when I don't do well for few reasons, mostly because of the fact that I know that I can often do a lot better and sometimes when it isn't my fault as well, it also annoys me. Jack will beat himself up quite a lot um, if something goes wrong, you know, he'll get quite upset and I think that's, that shows the character that he is. It may demotivate him a little, it'll certainly depress him, but I very much doubt it would stop him at all. No. Somebody that could just, you know, make a mistake, kind of walk out the door, ah, oh, well, whatever, don't matter. But to Jack, it's everything. And that shows the hunger that you need to, to do what he's doing. I do believe I'll become a racing driver due to the fact that I've, I've, I've always wanted to become a racing driver. Yeah, I'm very proud of him, especially so when he wins. I'm very proud of him, but I try not to go overboard. It might go to his head, you know, yeah. As anybody would be, to be honest, yeah. Well, he has, he's caught a little bit under the yellows. You have to be resilient, committed, and you have to be focused. I believe, from what I've seen of Jack, he's the most committed I've ever, ever seen anybody. The way he absorbs everything that he does, the information there is locked in his brain. He's so focused, so committed. I think I think he, he could, with the right backing, go on to be uh, something very, very special. Third in this one. Jack's confidence is, is I should say, rocketed since he's been 
karting. And I have to say a lot of it is thanks to Fastlane, they've been very good to him. What? That's what I was getting to, but he didn't give us a chance to finish. Do you want me to play? No. Oh. Jack, when he oh. first came, was very, very quiet. He, he wouldn't speak. He, he, I, if you asked him a question, you'd get you'd get kind of a mumble back from him. Even then, I still shouldn't qualify that low. Now, well, obviously, the carton has given him just massive confidence. So, taking the bottom step off the podium is Jack. Well done, Jack. He's done him the power of good. I'm so glad that he got into this, really, definitely. Yeah, I believe we're on track for success. <laughs>